Welcome to Graphitorials. In today's video, we will learn how to design a church crossover poster in Photoshop. So this is the photo, this is the um, poster we are going to work on today. So I will embed link to download all this, um, everything I use for this project in the description below. So you can download them and follow me as I walk you through the process. Okay. So let's get started. So the first thing we we'll do is to create a, our working environment. Okay, our work environment. So to do so, go to File New. So I'll be using this um, ten by eight. I'll be using ten by seven. Okay, ten by seven. So let's say let's name it Cross. Over. So heat creates. So let's. The first thing we we'll do is, is to bring in our pictures. I've I've already removed the background of the background of this picture. So I will still embed the link for you to download them and use it and use it on your own. Okay. So let's import the pictures. So let's use this a little bit, drag it down to this um, one so that it will be at the back of this control T for free transform, reduce it a little bit so that they will have they will be on they will have the same size, okay? Then hold control and press G hold control and press G to group group it, then press control T. For, for free transform, then increase the size a little. So set it in place. So the next thing we will do is to apply feather on this under this. Pictures okay, so hold control, click on it to make select any picture. Or uh, if your own is an auto select, it will do it automatically. Okay, you can select any picture automatically. Control Z or disable the auto select and hold control and click on any picture to select it. Okay, so let's work on the first picture. Add a layer mask, this is a layer mask, add it. Grab your brush tool. Make sure this foreground is in black. Why this place is in white? Use the bracket button on your keyboard and adjust the size, a size of the brush. Add layer mask to these pictures too. Then blend it in so that they will have feather under them. Okay. So press Ctrl S to save. Let's save this on your on our desktop. So learn to save and also group your work so that it will be more organized. Okay. Hit enter. So let's bring in our background. Go, go to file place embedded. Go to download. I've already downloaded everything. Okay. Then go over to this place set it to 90 hit enter press enter then ctrl t for full transform increase the size drag it and fit it to this area hold shift and drag hit enter then drag this background under this picture go to file blur motion blur okay so this my bro is my brush my bro blur is in Distance, my blood distance is 208. Okay, so set yours like that so that we get the same results. Okay, so let's bring in the second background. Okay? Let, let me bring this in. Let me keep it here somewhere here. Hit press enter. 
change the blending mode to scream okay so take this up a little add layer mask to it grab your brush to let's clean under it so that the those um, um edges will show okay let's reduce the opacity a little bit so this is okay press ctrl s to save always save so let's bring in the the crossover test okay so this is it i have also embed link for you to download it and use it on your own so right click on the keyboard select q then drag it up like this okay ctrl t for free transform drag it down a little it's too much okay for ctrl t for free transform reduce it a little press enter so the next thing we'll do is to um, begin typing some tests so let's first type church church Ctrl T for full transform, reduce the size. Take it up. Set it very well. Bring this down. Ctrl T for full transform, reduce it a little. Okay, this is good. Bring this down a little. Press Ctrl S to save. So let's change this font to <coughs> sorry. Let's change the font to this. Okay, my red. My red regular. Church name. So let's type in the um, present. Then Ctrl T for full transform. Reduce it and keep it under this. Change the font to this. Let's change the font to this uh, Gabriella. So Gabriella, Gabriella. Okay. So I'll be using that Gabriella. Control G to group it. Take it up a little. Control S to save. So add this test to this group drag it up and drop inside the group so that everything will be organized okay then let's group the background ctrl g to group it okay so let's work on this picture first duplicate this picture okay let's not let's leave it like this so let's control okay right click on this group convert it to smart objects Go to file, camera row, increase the clarity. Let's go to color mixing, increase the blue. This is cool. Okay, Ctrl S to save. Let's um, type in other test. So at first control J to duplicate it keep it this one here then write my PM okay group the two control T of transform 
hit enter shift this a little bit then this one is okay grab your test to highlight this st let's change the color let's change the color of these two pick color from here so that all of them will have the same color okay Control s to save so let's type in other tests so first let's apply a um, black um, feather under this picture so i selected this rectangle to if you if you didn't see it right click on this rectangle click on this change the color to black or from here change it to black your black then select your filter blur gaussian blur okay so increase the broad gross blur size so that it will cover um it will it will have um okay this is okay this is okay so control s to save so let's type in the let's test Join Hello Break True Root of the Move and others. Ctrl T for field transform. Reduce the size of this. Zoom it in. Open this test panel and adjust this. Change the color to change the font to Nexa. Okay. Then bring this down a little like this. I think this is better. Ctrl T for field transform. Reduce this. Then double click on this layer. Let's add a little stroke. Okay, so, so let's stroke. Make sure the color is in white. Make sure it's outside. Just add two. Okay. Then Ctrl T for free transform. Reduce it more. I think this is good. Ctrl S to save. So let's type in the next test. Ctrl T for free transform. Reduce it. Okay. Hit enter. Keep it somewhere here. So let's change the font style. I'll be using this. This Bavista. Okay. Then expand it. This is good. Okay, reduce it. It's more. It's too much. This is good. Then go to file, place embedded. Let's find a location icon. Okay, this is it. Bring it down. Keep it here. Double click on the layer. Color overlay. Make sure the color, this color is selected. Hit this color. Hit OK. Control T for full transform. Reduce it. Control T for full transform. Control T. Hit enter. Then hold Control. Select these two. I featuring then control G to group them so that all of them will be in, in one um, group. Okay, group this date and time to control G. Always group a work so that it will be 
well organized, okay? So let's apply a test. Let's apply a DOM test, okay? A DOM test. It's not coming up. is good so let's just keep put a caption come and experience God's wonders control T of free transform Let's change it to normal area regular area regular control T. Let's use it. Change it to area regular. Okay. Bring this down. Change this to okay. Expand this. I think this is good. Control T for free transform. This is okay like this. So let's summarize this design. Hold Control on your keyboard. Hold Shift. Hold Alt. While holding this three key, press E to merge all this layer to a single layer. Okay. Go to File Camera Raw. Increase the clarity. Okay. This is good. This is all. Control S to save. So hold Control and Shift. Then press E. S. Sorry, S to save as. Or you can go to File and save it as. Okay. So cross over. Cross over. So, <clears throat> sorry, this is the final result of this flyer, what we just designed now, okay? So guys, is today is your first time coming to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe, subscribe button, then turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I drop a new tutorial, I drop um, new videos every week, okay? If you're already on the channel, Please like, comment, and share. If you have any question, ask me in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer your question. See you guys next time. Bye.